Good morning, everyone. I just made my first cup of hot cocoa of the season and it is the cutest thing ever. I got these little gingerbread house mug toppers at Costco and they are so cute. I don't know if I will actually dunk it in and eat it. I'll try it, but for now, it just looks way too adorable. Today's plan of attack is to clean my office area and clean out all of my bookshelves, reorganize, and then do a massive unhaul before the end of the year. Right now, I have stacks and stacks of books all over my office area and nowhere to put them. So I just really need to go through everything, see what I have, and I just wanna free up some space in the new year, get rid of some clutter. But once everything is clean and organized, I am also going to decorate it today. I am pulling out all of my decor. This is some stuff that I bought this year. It still has the tags on them. We're gonna Christmas up the place, make it nice and cute. I love decorating my bookshelves. So excited. So I'm gonna sip my hot chocolate and let's get started. This book stack is mostly brand new books. There are a few in here that I've had that I just took off my shelf to do a different video, but majority of these are new. So I'm gonna go through these. I also just got these two in the mail. These are both from Simon & Schuster. One of the books they sent is Megan Fox's new poetry book, Pretty Boys Are Poison. Also sent over Alice Sadie Celine. This one is described as witty and relatable, sexy and surprising. Sarah Blakely Cartwright's debut adult novel is a mesmerizing portrait of the three inner lives of three very different women. Chock full of playful irreverence for feminist and gender theory, hip popular cultural references, and the wide breadth of what defines female sexuality. I did also receive Fruit of the Dead. This is an ARC copy. I wanna say this one comes out, oh, it says March, 2024. I'm very excited about this one. The cover is so cool. I was also sent this book, Catherine's Mercy by Nicole Evelina. This one I believe was sent by Harper Collins. This is what happened to Nina. One child is missing, another child stands accused of a terrible crime. I haven't heard anything about this book. I was really surprised when it showed up on my doorstep. Sounds good. Nina and Simon are the perfect couple, young, fun, and deeply in love, until they leave for a weekend at his family's cabin in Vermont, and only Simon comes home. Finally bought these two because the new covers are out, so they'll match the other covers that I have. These are the last two books in the Magnolia Park series. I still, I've only read Magnolia Parks. But I do want to do a reading vlog reading the rest of the series. So let me know if you're interested in that. I ended up with two copies of Check and Mate. This one was gifted to me. I'm going to keep the paperback. This one I chose as part of a book of the month add-on. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Two were also gifted. More book of the month add-ons. I think this was the November pick. I added on How Lucky by Will Leach. And this one kind of a big boy. The Gifted School by Bruce Halsinger. This sounds amazing, but I, I'm a little I'm a little anxious to get into it because it's so long. Oh, and The Golden Couple. This was another add-on. I only just realized that this is supposed to be a nipple. But this is The Nursery. This is about uh, postpartum and motherhood. Gentleman Callers, Dolly City, Black Sheep. I think I'm just gonna start going through my shelves and seeing if there's anything that I want to unhaul and then just start organizing that way and we'll just we'll just see how that works out books and I ended up unhauling around 30. Some of these I already had off to the side 
they're already listed on my pinko books or some of them the more used ones i'm going to be donating a majority of these i just will not reread there's no reason to have them on my shelf they weren't like favorite books of mine so one of them is marrying the ketchups this was actually a pretty good book but it's really political politically heavy but overall i did actually enjoy this one and the cover is really good but i know i won't reach for it again house witch this has been on my shelf for a while and i just never get around to it so i'm like am i ever gonna read this probably not the greedy three the horoscope writer i did not enjoy this book would absolutely not recommend this one nor will i ever reread it the family bones 99 percent mine the existence of amy behind her eyes claire mcintosh the hostage st ambrose school for girls autumn sky ninth house just can never get into this one my second copy of check and made cross her heart that summer dark corners little fires everywhere blowing my way to the top circus train pineapple street and the unfortunate side effects of heartbreak and magic now that that's out of the way i can finally start decorating i kind of want to start off with the tree i don't know honestly i don't even know what decor i actually have so i need to look through all of that Christmas carols down the street Snowflakes on the graceful trees Underneath the mistletoe My teardrops melt the snow Baby, won't you please come home too long you've got to know so much joy that we'll have gonna share the gift of love will you be here on Christmas Eve here on Christmas Day with no one else I'd rather hung up the aspen and boba stockings <laughs> what do you think everything turned out so super duper cute and the shelves are still nice and full i love that boba is admiring everything might end up moving the tree because i think it might be cuter where this little stool is so it's not so crowded but i kind of like it there i don't know maybe i could even put it on this side of the bookshelves we'll see but i'm also so happy with how these turned out these trees I just got from Target and they look so pretty. I am obsessed. It took me almost the entire day, but I just finished organizing all the books, doing my little book unhaul, which is now listed on my Pango books, and decorating, which I am obsessed with how everything came out. All of these little ornaments are so cute. I'm going to link all of the holiday decor that I bought this year and the ones that I can still find online down below. So if you saw anything like these ornaments and stuff, it'll all be linked there. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I'll see you again tomorrow for another episode of Book Miss. Bye.